Today I'm going to show you some real simple JavaScript debugging that will help you take care of the more obvious or beginner types of mistakes that you might run into when you're learning to program in JavaScript. Now I have a page with some JavaScript in it. I currently have it displaying in Internet Explorer 9. If I refresh the script, you'll notice that no error comes up. If I come and switch to Firefox, you'll also notice that no error occurs. But what I want to do real quick is I want to pull up Firebug. Now Firebug is a real cool tool that lets you do JavaScript debugging straight from within it. And you'll notice that right now it gives us an error, tells us what the error is, is an unterminated string literal. But even more importantly, if I look off to the far right hand side, I can see what line and even what column it is. If I come over here to my if I come over to my JavaScript file, you can see where I forgot to close my string for my alert, such as in the hello world. Now the first step I want to give you is make sure you're using a good editor. Don't use something like Notepad. Use something like Notepad++, Aptana, Eclipse, Dreamweaver, one of those types of tools. The reason why is that you can see where I have a command, it's one color. However, my color is not changed from my text. And so this gives you a quick little hint on those types of mistakes. And when I move off, you can see the color is corrected. I'm going to save this, reload it in Firefox, and now my message box pops up. A more difficult problem that I might run into, especially if I have a large script, is where I have an unreferenced variable. So here, I'm going to call for a variable called first name, but I've never set that variable. I'm going to reload my page. Notice that I have a reference error. First name is not defined, very specific, and once again it tells me in the file what line to find this on. If I click on this little error, You'll notice that it opens my script tab and shows me right inside the file so I can find where this error occurs. To do something similar in Internet Explorer, you notice I reload and I once again I don't see where the error is. If I want some debugging information, I hit the F12 key and refresh my script and it'll tell me where my error is. But I have to know that there is going to be something that was supposed to occur. So it becomes a little bit more challenging in my opinion. But it is built in to Internet Explorer 9 if you want to use their developer tools. Remember, if you like this video, don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel and to follow us on Twitter.